listening to you and welcome to the Ring Sport and Spa Centre here in the heart of Estonia here in Tallinn. We are back for another day of competition at the European Championships. It's now day four and we are in for an absolute treat today. We have a bronze medal match in the 10 metre air rifle mixed team in just a second, which will be followed by the second bronze medal match in the same event. And then the gold medal match will be contested between Norway and Israel. Uh, that's later today. My name is Rory McAllister. I'll be your commentator uh, for the remainder of today. So if you are joining us on YouTube or on Facebook, feel free to leave your comments of support. Just be kind at all times. Let's all get involved and have a great time celebrating the world of shooting. It's been a wonderful time so far here in Tallinn. When we all arrived a few days ago, there was snow everywhere. It was very cold, but the sun has been shining for the last few days. And let's just have a look now at this beautiful city. live stream of day four of the European Championships, then welcome to you. We're in Tallinn, in the heart of Estonia, the capital city, which was awarded the Green Run Award in five. Europe. And you can absolutely see why you only have to walk around the city to even feel how clean the air is. And I think when you're walking around a city, it's not something that you expect. Sure, you expect that in the countryside, but this city of Tallinn is certainly pioneering and certainly leading the way in terms of innovation and the world of being green. So we're about to get underway with the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. And we're now into the senior competitions. Uh, the juniors completed yesterday. So this will be between Germany and Italy. So the German team just coming into the field of play now. Anna Janssen and David Kunders. And that's with their coach, Ahim Fielman. Then Sofia Cecarello and Danilo Salazzo from Italy are making up the opposing team with their coach, Marco De Niccolo. So the other bronze medal match between Norway and Sweden. So that's Jenny Stenner and Henrik Larsen. And their coach Espen Berg Knutsen. And here come the Swedish team. This is Hanna Jorensen and Erik Salsen. Salin. And that's Mats Eriksson is the coach there just to the right of Eric Salin and Hannah Jorensen. And the chief French officer for this finals is Christian Palmini from France. 
Ladies and gentlemen, so just introducing the jury member in charge as well and the chief range officer, which again is Christine Baillet of France. There he is. Take your position. So the athletes in the second bronze medal, bronze medal match now taking their seats. And we're left with four athletes, two from Germany, two from Italy. If you've been watching our other coverage of the days that preceded this one, then there really has been some excitement here in Tallinn. It's been absolutely wonderful. We've had a great time so far. There's been some really close medal matches. There's been some drama here and there. There's coaches that have been in tears, as in of the human kind, rather than the buses that bring us here. Uh, that's Vladislav Lushin of Estonia. He is the, the announcer for this final and has been up until today, day four. So 0.5 millimeters is the bullseye. 10.9 is the highest individual score. And this one is all about combined scores converted then to points. And 16 points is the target for the bronze medal. So 21.8 is the highest combined score from both athletes. That just gives you an example of some of the rifles that are in use. Again, that one's just fairly generic, but it does give you an idea of what some of the rifles look like. One thing's for sure that 5.5 kilos is the maximum weight and everything is weighed. I can even see the scales from here down on the lower floor with equipment control. So the preparation and sighting time now taking place. So I've been through all the practice, all the qualification, and now it's time to get real. This is where it all counts. That's where you get those medals that can't be taken from you. Once you've got a medal, that's, that's it. It's done, it's yours. Unless, of course, there are some discrepancies, but it tends to be quite rare. Very rare, actually. Uh, the records, of course, are the ones that can be broken, but the medals can't be taken. So here's Anna Janssen of Germany, 21 years old, gold medalist at the ISSF President's Cup in Cairo. That was 2022. Also has three gold World Championship medals, mostly in the 50-metre discipline, and also has four goals at the World Cups and four goals in the European Championships. This is David Kunders of Germany, a bronze medalist at the World Championships in the 50 meter 3P. As you're seeing on your screens right now. And there's Achim Fielman. Who is the coach that will decide whether or not there are any timeouts taken for the German team. Each team gets one timeout each. They're allowed 60 seconds for that and it does mean the opposing team can also use the time. So on to the Italians then. This is Sofia Ceccarello, who's a gold medalist at the ISSF Grand Prix in the 3P. And she also has two other gold medals in the Grand Prix and also two golds at European Championships. This is Danilo Salazzo, a gold medalist in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. That was in Oshek and has so many other gold medals. I'll just run through a couple of them. First of all, that's Marco De Niccolo, the coach, but Salazzo has three gold medals at European Championships, one silver at the European Championships, one's two bronze medals at the European Championships, one gold at the World Cup, and a gold at the Grand Prix, amongst others. They're just the golds and the silvers. There are some bronze medals mixed in there as well, and you you tend to find that, of course, at senior level. They've been around a lot longer. They've been in more competitions. And often like this, from my point of view, you're looking at the gold medals, but you also can't discount or discredit all the other silvers and bronze that have been won in that time as well. So local time here in Tallinn is just coming up to four a four? <laughs> 2.45. 2 2.45. The 24-hour clock has a four in it. It confuses my brain. 
so 2.45 local time. And later today, we also have the Air Pistol Women competition at 6 p.m. And we also have the Air Pistol Men event as well. That's later today. Quota places also available in the next final coming up. Four quota places available. That'll be for Hungary, Turkey. One of the Greek athletes, that's Christina Mochi. And also a quota place available for Camille Jetsarescu, who's representing France. There's Mr. Alexander Ratner. He is the president of the European Shooting Confederation. And the chief range officer in just a second will call time for 30 seconds remaining on the preparation and sighting time for all four of our athletes. So there's the 30 seconds. And now the athletes will just wrap up what they're doing. And often just rest their rifle. Take a few breaths, perhaps even a sip of water, just to try and keep hydrated. Rubber the hands on the towel. It's all part and parcel of getting ready for a final such as this. So a bronze medal at stake between Germany and Italy. We're just waiting now for the first load command of the first series. And then it's all about combined scores being converted into points. Start. So 50 seconds already ticking down. And will it be Germany? Will it be Italy? We'll take advantage of this first series. So 10.7 and a 10.5 from the Germans. That's a great start. 21.2 against a total of 19.8. So Germany take the first points. Two points to nil. Stop. So another 50 seconds and another series begins. I do like the variation of colours on that rifle. It does make it more interesting to look at. So 10.3 against 10.5. So 20.9 total from the Germans this time. But the Italians have just done it by 0.1 with a 21.0 total. So Italy are now level, two points each. 16 points is the target to reach in order to claim the bronze medal. Stop. So here's Anna Janssen, 21 years old. Plenty of gold medals to her name. Three of them at the World Championships in the 50 metre. Total score of 20.4 for Germany, but it's 20.8 for the Italians with a 10 and a 10.8. That was a terrific shot. So Italy have taken that series by 0.4 in the combined total, which means another two points awarded to the Italian team. Four points to two. Stop. So you just see the differences there as well between the two Italian athletes and their rifles and how you can customise your rifle in terms of the cheek plate. So there's Sophia there with the blue one. And you can see that Danilo's is just angled as well and tilts it to suit him. It's a really nice looking rifle that, isn't it? So 20.2 from Germany, 20.8 this time from Italy. So once again, it's enough to take a series win. So the Germans just need to make sure that this doesn't start to slip away. Italy already four points in front, six points to two. Stop.
Looking 10.8 from Ciaccarello. 9.9 .9 though from Salazzo. So Italy this time haven't quite done enough to win the series. Uh, the Germans are 0.2 in front with a 20.9 total. So they've closed the gap once again to two points. It's six points to four now. Stop. So can Germany win another series and level it up once again? 10.2 is the start. That makes 10.5, which is 20.7. Again, it's not quite enough. The Italians, two terrific shots, two 10.5s. So Italy now halfway there to the bronze medal, eight points. 16 is, points is the target they are focused on. For the next no. And if at any point the combined totals are tied, then each team will receive one point. But for now, it's another series, another 50 seconds. And the crowd now starting to join in because Italy are ready over the halfway stage. 20.4 this time. Will it be enough though? No, it's not. 21.2 this time with a terrific 10.4 and a 10.8 from the German teams. There's Peter Brault, the OC Sports Director. Nice to see him here. So the Germans now only two points behind. It was 8.4. It's now 8.6. Stop. So 21.2 this time from Germany. 21.3 <laughs> from Italy. Therefore, a timeout called by the German coach, Achim Filmann. He's just going over just to make sure that this bronze medal match doesn't start slipping away from the German team. So just having a word with David Condes and Annie Jensen. Also just getting some instructions. Meanwhile, Marco De Nicolo, who's the Italian coach, has also been over to have a chat with Sofia and Danilo. So some pretty good shooting from Annie Jensen. So just that third shot, it wasn't quite as good as the rest. And here she is with that slow head turn right round till she then decides to slowly settle into her shot. arched back as well. And the suit helps, keeps things nice and stiff, but how you stand is, is up to you. 20.9 versus a 21.0, so <laughs> only 0.1 of a difference in this. So, so close. But Italy just edge further forward. Every single one of Ciaccarello's shots has been in the 10 ring. 12 points to six. Germany just need to make sure this doesn't start to slip away. Stop. So another 50 seconds, Ahim Fielman looks on. Were his words enough to change the fortunes of the German team? Point zero and a 10.6 is a 20.6 total. Will it be enough though? Once again, 
the Italians are actually 1.0 in front in the first 10.9 of the day as well from Salazzo. Great shot. And a 10.9 from Ceccarello, which means a 21.6 total. Puts another two points on the board. And now it's looking very bleak for the Germans. The Italians just within touching distance now of a possible bronze medal. This could all be over in one more series. And in a few moments, we'll find out. Stop. So David Kunders knows what's at stake here. I think they're both going to need shots in around the 10.5 mark. 10.2 is a good start, so Jensen really needs to pull one out here. And it's not enough for 10.3. I thought they'd have to be higher because the Italians have been shooting so well. A 10.6 and a 10.0 is enough uh, to finish it. And that means that the bronze medal is going to the Italians of Sofia Ceccarello and Danilo Salazzo, both 20 years old and both with plenty of gold medals between them. And now another bronze medal to add to the, med to the medal cabinet. And just goes over and congratulates uh, the other two German athletes. So that concludes the first bronze medal match of the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. This is day four of the European Championships here in Tallinn, Estonia. If you are just joining us, then welcome. If you do need to share the link for the live stream, then feel free to go to the European Shooting Confederation website. Uh, the live stream link is there. It's the easiest way of sending things around because then you're also sending the actual website as well. And then you can then subscribe and join the feed. So next bronze medal match coming up in just a second will be between Norway and Sweden. So we'll be back in a few minutes time. Feel free to keep the stream open. Go and grab yourself a drink. Uh, relax at home or wherever you are, perhaps even watching this on your mobile phone or tablet. And we'll be back in a few minutes with the next bronze medal match in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team here live from Tallinn in Estonia. And welcome back to the European Championships here in Tallinn, in Estonia. We're about to get underway with another bronze medal match. They're coming thick and fast today. This is the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. This is between Norway and Sweden. My name is Rory McAllister, and I'll be your commentator for this bronze medal match. So Jenny Stanner and Henrik Larsson, uh, two names who pretty much need no introduction in the world of Norwegian shooting. They've both been around for so long now, it just seems, well, many, many years. And the two Swedish athletes coming in, Hannah Jorensen and Erik Salin. So, Misa Merit of Estonia, once again the jury member in charge. Just checking that everything is present and correct. I think just going over to have a word with the chief range officer, that's Christian Baye. So, something's not quite right. 
I'm just going to work out exactly what that is. I always am astonished as well, just looking at Henrik Larsson, how far back his, his right foot is. He's always stood like that for, for many, many years. I've been watching Henrik for a long time. And he's a great shooter to watch. So much talent as well. Both 25 now, 25 years old, the Norwegian athletes. And just plenty of medals between them as well. So there's Christian Bayet of France. He is our chief range officer. We'll now go through the introductions, starting on firing point E, which is Jenny Stenner, representing Norway. She's just putting her safety flag, that long bit of plastic, just down onto the table. That's a Guy de Lantel, also part of the jury. It's not just the jury member in charge. They're obviously the chief one to make the ultimate decision in chatting with the chief range officer. But of course, you do need more than one person to keep an eye on four athletes when often sometimes there's eight. So the introductions then. Here is Jenny Stainer. Such a lovely person to be around, always smiling, always happy. A gold medalist at the 50 meter 3P competition at the World Championships in Cairo. She also has uh, another two World Cup golds. And here's Henrik Larsson, now 25 years old, gold medalist in the 3P at the World Championships in Cairo last year. That was a great moment for Henrik. And also has five count them, one, two, three, four, five silver medals at the European Championships. And there's Espen Bergknutsen, who's the coach. And now we'll move on to the Swedish athletes. So on firing point G, this is Hanna Jurensen, gold medalist at the Grand Prix, and also a bronze medal at the Grand Prix as well. So it wasn't just one, it was two. And here is Eric Ola Björn Salin, 22 years old, just like Hannah, standing next to him. And here is the coach, that's Mats Eriksson. So these two countries, of course, no strangers to each other. It's so often that in other competitions, mostly the Alpine ones where you'll get Norway and Sweden competing against each other and shooting is another sport where this happens quite a lot. There's just something about that area of the world that just keeps generating these prolific talents. That's Mr. Alexander Ratner, who is the president of the European Shooting Confederation. And has also been handing out medals during the medal ceremonies as well. So two minutes to go before we get underway. If you have just joined us, then welcome. Perhaps you're just relaxing, just like some of the Norway team, just there having a chat, perhaps discussing who you think is going to win. So a bronze medal is at stake. It'll be followed by a gold medal match. That's coming up after this one between Norway and Israel. Some very, very familiar names in the gold medal match. Likewise with this bronze medal match. So we've had a great time in Tallinn so far. Uh, the snow was here when we first arrived and most of us flew in some of us up to about a week ago. Plenty of forests and greenery in around the two major cities, Estonia being, uh, Tallinn being the capital of Estonia. And the sun has also been out last few days as well. So the snow is starting to melt and I, I always find that quite sad. <laughs> I often wish that it would snow one day and if the snow is gonna go, then you can wake up the following day and it's all gone. I think seeing snow melt and fade away I don't know, there's just something sometimes quite sad about that. Depends where you are. I think in a city, when you're in a city, I think it can look a bit odd. 
That's certainly no in in forests back home when it's been snowing and melts. It's not so bad. It just depends where it is, I think. So 30 seconds to go of this preparation and sighting time. This is where the athletes just run through everything they've been doing in training, things they've been doing in competition, stuff they've practiced, honed and worked on to bring it all down to this. So you'll just see some differing styles. For example, Jenny Stainer there with the rifle resting in the flat of her palm with her fingers then on the other on the other side and thumb and you'll just notice some other athletes who just decide to rest the rifle uh, in different ways so we've had the command for the first competition series And this is Henrik Larsson, very, very experienced. He's often quite hard on himself, but when he shoots well, it's a sight to behold. And again, like that, you can just see he goes for, with fingers folded over and resting the rifle that way. He opens with a 9.9. .9. Henrik knows he can do better than that. 10.3 from Jorlinson, a 20.4 total from Sweden, but Norway, because of Jenny Stainer's shot of 10.6, it's rescued Henrik Larsson's 9.9, .9, just a little bit to pull the Norwegian total up to 20.5, but that's what this is about. It's a team event, so if you feel you haven't maybe perhaps shot as well as you could have, your teammate is there to throw a rescue raft. So Norway, and now 2-0 up. So 10.2 this time from Larson. So an, an improvement. A 20.4 total from Sweden. Once again, it's not enough. Another decent shot from Jenny Steiner to bring the Norwegian total to 20.6. Very, very narrow difference. Only a difference of 0.2, as you're seeing on your screens there. But it means Norway are now four points in front. 16 points is the golden target. But in this case, it won't be gold, it'll be a bronze. Just watching Jenny Stainer now, it's fascinating to see the closing of the eyes, how slow that happens. Open them up again. That's a great shot from Henrik Larsson. A 10.8 and a 10.3. 21.1, surely that's enough. And a 10.3 from Sweden. So Nor Norway finished 0.5 in front. So Norway are six points in front. I wonder will Mats Eriksson call a timeout at some point fairly soon if it keeps going Norway's way. Norway's way. Sounds like a book title, doesn't it? So this is Hannah Jorensen, 22 years old now. Gold medalist at the Grand Prix, also a bronze medal at the Grand Prix as well. Perhaps another bronze today, but there's some work to do in between. 10.6 from Larsen. 10.7 from Steiner. Some great shooting from the Norwegian team. 21.3. Meanwhile, a 10.3 and a 9.7. Now, here's the timeout. I thought this might happen. And here comes Mats Eriksson just to try and calm down some Swedish nerves, perhaps, and just put some faith back into the athletes and just say, we can't have our neighbours taking a bronze medal from us. So Mats Eriksson 
is also just having a look at the position of each of his athletes. I think obviously just going through things, saying, look, just remember what we did in practice. Remember what we've been doing in qualification. Remember what got us here and get those positive thoughts and positive routines into your mind and then just execute that now in front of you and go for the bronze. Time. And he's just using the maximum time allowed as well, which is 60 seconds. So both the coaches now return to their seat. And we can continue with this bronze medal match. Can Sweden get themselves back into this one? Larsen and Steiner for Norway. So far have been shooting so well. Larsen's first shot wasn't great. It's in the nine ring, but then followed that up with a 10.8. And it's all been points since then for Norway. Here's Henrik Larsen once again. He shoots a 10.7 cracking shot. What can Sweden respond with here? Hannah Jurensen, 10.6, 10.5, 20.1. It's still short of the Norwegian total by just the slightest of margins. 0.2 of the difference. Is there anything to separate these two teams? It seems not so far because the margins are there. They are so small, they are slender. But at the moment, Norway are 10 points in front. Can Sweden respond? Stop. They need the crowd support, I think, to get behind them now. Otherwise, Larkson and Steiner could be just walking away with this. I mean, whatever happens, Norway do have a medal because they're in the gold medal match coming up. Can Sweden make a fight back? 10.6 from Larsen. 9.9 .9 from Steiner this time, 10.1. This is Sweden's chance now. And a 19.7 with a 9.6. So Norway once again have won the series. They are now four points away from the bronze medal. So it could be over in two more series if the Norwegians were to win both, that would put them to 14 and then to 16 points. So can Sweden respond? Can they get some points on the board? Stop. And the Swedish team start to clap along. I think they're certainly gonna need much more of that. from Larsen this time. Oh, a 9.3 from Steiner. Again, Sweden have a chance here. 10.1 and a 19.5. They've done it. They have some points. And Norway now on 12 and Sweden on two. So has the fight back started? <laughs> I think even Hannah's finding it amusing. She's thinking to herself, yeah, well, we've got something. <laughs> you just need to keep going now, Hannah. So Jorinsson and Salim, the two athletes from Sweden, have two points. Can they make it four? Ten point six from Larsen. What will Steiner shoot? She'll probably go in just second. There she goes, 10.0, so 20.6. Again, this is a chance for Sweden. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. 10.6 and a 9.9. 20.5, a difference of 0.1. And Sweden are locked on two points. Meanwhile, Norway are just getting ever so closer, reaching out the hands, reaching for the bronze medal. Matt Eriksson, I think, just looks a little bit dumbfounded. What's going on here, I think he's saying. Well, Norway are 12 points in front. 
That's what's happening. Can the Swedish team fight back? 10.2 from Larsen. Bought the Stainer hit now. Oh, a 9.9, a 20.1. This is a chance again for Sweden. A 10.6, that's a great start. And a 9.4. And Saline is just saying, uh, how, how did that happen? It's 0.1 short. So again, by the narrowest of margins, Sweden have missed out on winning the series, which means Norway have got there. 16 points means it's a bronze medal for the Norwegians. Jenny Stainer and Henrik Larsson can add that bronze medal to their ever-growing medal cabinet. It's commiserations for the Swedish team who just lost some of those series by the narrowest of margins uh, with a 0.1 difference uh, in at least, I think, about three series, if my memory serves me correctly. But really, from the beginning, the Norwegians took control of this bronze medal match and then just stretched out in front. So Hannah Jorensen and Eric Salin leave in fourth place. Meanwhile, for Henrik Larsson and Jenny Stainer, better make some more room in the medal cabinet because there's another bronze medal coming your way. The medal ceremony for this particular event, that's the 10-metre air rifle mixed team, uh, will follow after our next match, which is the gold medal match. This is the one that counts. It's going to be between Norway and Israel and we will bring you that live coverage uh, in a few moments. In the meantime, feel free to keep the stream open and live. If you'd like to make some comments in the comments section on Facebook or YouTube, feel free to do so and cheer on uh, your respective country or whoever it is that you'd like to support. That's entirely up to you. So from myself, Rory McAllister, just for the moment, uh, we're going to leave you with some pictures uh, of the finals hall here in Tallinn in Estonia and we'll be back in a few moments with the gold medal match in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. Well, there's just some evidence of how wonderful this city of Tallinn is here in Estonia. So much to do, so much uh, to get around. I, I myself uh, still need to take a good look around at Tallinn, intending to do so tomorrow. Nothing better than having a good stroll around a city on a Saturday morning. And we have a slightly later start tomorrow as well, because uh, events uh, don't get underway until about three o'clock in the afternoon. So that's just some of the jury. Uh, that's Mr. Robert Lockridge, who you're just looking at at the moment. Um, making sure everything is present uh, and correct. Uh, just a quick check of the range as well, just to make sure everything's set on firing points B, C, F and G. And in any moment now, we'll be welcoming in the Norwegian team and the Israel team who will be competing uh, for this gold medal. So Norway already have a bronze. They are also now guaranteed another medal. It just depends what color, it will be silver or gold, and we'll find out in just a second. Uh, my name is Rory McAllister. I'll be your commentator for this particular gold medal match.
Day four of competition already. And we have day five and six still to come tomorrow and Sunday. We've had a great time so far. There's been some fantastic competition. It really, really has. It's been absolutely world class in some places and also very, very memorable as well. So here come the Norwegian team, the familiar names of Jeanette Heg Justad and Jan Helman Heg. I've said their names many times over the years, either announcing or on television commentary, and that's because even at 24 for Jeanette and 23 for Jan Hemmen, they've been around so long. Very prolific junior talents. And it's been nice to see them over the years get to where they are now with so many medals between them. I mean, just looking down at the notes here, uh, three World Championship golds for Jeanette. Uh, also five World Cup golds, uh, European Championship gold in the 3P. And that's just the gold medals. That's not mentioning the, the silver or the bronze. Uh, moving on to Jon Hermann Heg, uh, gold medal two times in the European Championships, also three World Cup golds and also one World Championship gold and another one in the Grand Prix as well. Ah, I think this is my moment to be shown, is it? <laughs> the TV crew keep doing this. I don't know why they just keep focusing on me and I just stand here with my arms up like this and no one even reacts to the screen. Everyone's too busy just on their mobile phones. But yes, I'm here. Let's just see if anybody reacts. Oh, eventually, eventually there are some bells. <laughs> Ah, oh, such is the world of mobile phones, you see. Texting your friends and going on social media keeps you far too interested uh, than actually waving to a TV commentator. But we're just going through the final preparations now. Uh, just to say later on, uh, we have more events coming for you on day four from six o'clock local time here in Tallinn. Uh, we have the air pistol women competition. Some very familiar names in there. Anna Korakaki is here and made the final. Zorana Runovic, uh, very good friends outside when, of when it comes to the finals hall, but very, very competitive uh, between the two of them. And they're right next to each other as well. Uh, Arunovic will be on uh, firing point E and Kodakaki on firing point F. So it'll be great to see those two uh, in action later today from six o'clock. There's also quota places available, uh, four quota places available, one for Hungary, one for Turkey, another one for Greece and France. And those will be decided later because let's face it, the Olympic Games is coming thick and fast. And I think the reason why we're all just taken a bit by surprise is because Tokyo uh, was delayed by one year. So normally we'd have the four year gap. And of course this time, it's only the three years. After the Air Pistol women's event, uh, we'll then move to the Air Pistol men's and just awaiting the start list on that. Uh, I don't quite have that information that's come through yet, but we'll bring those that event to you live as well. So if you're on Facebook or if you're on LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube even, Perhaps you are, I mean, you maybe might be on LinkedIn, I certainly know I am, uh, but if you're on YouTube or Facebook, feel free uh, to leave your comments. We've had some nice comments so far, and it's nice to have your accompaniment and joining in for this coverage of the European Championships here in Tallinn. So the weather today hasn't been too bad. It's been pretty snowy, pretty cold last few days, but the sun has started to shine. And I think even today, if I'm standing corrected perhaps it's the first day where it's actually managed to get over zero degrees I'm saying on my app here that it's actually minus two or minus one but it certainly felt warmer than that in the sunlight so the fanfare plays the 10 meter air rifle mixed team right. gold medal match is about to begin and so the chief range officer has said th that the finals hall range is ready for the final and our announcer, Vladislav Lushin of Estonia, is making the announcements. And the first to enter will be the Norwegian team of Jeanette Heg Justad and Jorn Heg Hermann. I think they've actually just got 
John's name's the wrong way around there. John Hammond Hegg, even. So many medals between these two. And here come the Israeli team. This is Olga Toshiev and Sergei Victor. Sergei has been around for an awful long time now, 33 years old. Which, of course, isn't very old, really, in the grand scheme of things. I just think that it's, he's just achieved so much over the years. There's Medi Meretz of Estonia, jury member in charge. And our chief range officer, you just heard his voice there, is Mr. Christian Baye of France. So that's how they'll line up. Norway have taken a bronze medal already this afternoon. Will it be gold? Will it be silver? We shall find out. So we'll go through the official introductions in just a second once the preparation and sighting time gets underway. There's Vladislav Lushin, our announcer. And often when we cut to him and show him on the big screens here, he's often busy doing something, so he doesn't realize that we're at least trying to film him and get his attention. That's OK. Now, if you're busy, you're busy. That's it. Doing his job. So there we go, the preparation and sighting time is underway. The safety flags can be removed from the rifles. 0.5 of a millimetre is our bullseye. 10 metres away from the athletes, a little bit further for us as we sit and watch, not only on our TVs, computers, laptops and phones, uh, but likewise if you're here uh, watching in the crowd as well. 16 points is the target in terms of the gold medal. And each athlete will take an individual shot. Those shots are combined and the highest combined shot then gets two points. 21.8, just to say, is the highest combined score that's available. And that's if two athletes then get 10.9, which I think would be absolutely wonderful to see. We've had world-class shooting here at the European Championships. And long may that continue. So here is Jeanette Heg justad a gold medalist in the three positions women at the World Championships in Cairo. I remember watching Jeanette in the final of the Tokyo Olympics and I was doing the announcing for the final and really thought she was in with a shout but I think just, she just missed out and came fourth. Next time Jeanette perhaps. And this is John Hemmen Hegg of Norway. Gold medalist in the 50 metre 3P or three positions. In the world of shooting, we just call it the 3P. And here's Espen Berg Knutsen. <laughs> Clearly a favorite in the Norwegian team. So many gold medals between the Norwegian teams. We could be here all day, literally, if we were to go through them all. Uh, moving on to Israel and firing point F. Uh, this is Olga Tashiev, now 18 years old. Uh, the youngest competitor in this particular gold medal match. Bronze medalist at the World Cup in Changwon. That was in the 10-metre 10, 10 air rifle mixed team. And here is Sergei Richter, 33 years old now. Two gold medals at the European Championships. One that you're seeing on your screen just there in Haymar. That was last year. Gold medal at the World Cup in Munich. That was, I say, way back in 2009. Gold medalist at the Grand Prix in Granada and gold medalist at the European Games. That was in Minsk. And here's Vladimir Pivna, who's the coach and the man who will decide whether or not there's any timeouts that need to be called. The Norwegians last time didn't need to do that because they absolutely walked it with the bronze medal match. 16 points to two. That's the biggest margin we've seen in a medal match so far here at the World Championships. As the president of the European Shooting Confederation, that's Alexander Ratner, who's talking to Chislaine Bliers of France, who is the technical delegate for this competition. So 
so amazing to think that it's day four already. We have another two to go tomorrow and Sunday. Sunday's program is packed as well. A very, very long day, not only for us, but more so for the athletes, the coaches, and everyone involved in their team. Uh, the jury that are here, all the organizers of the competition. They've done a fantastic job though. The range really does look great in this converted basketball court hall. Uh, we're in the Ring and Spa Sports Centre in the centre of Tallinn. The qualification, meanwhile, is just taking place uh, just down the road, not too far, a couple of hundred metres away in the Unibet Arena, which again is a formidable place. It's really very impressive when you go in there. Uh, but the temporary range here uh, really is looking good. It's very well lit as well. The CS targets are there. You'll see the monitors. And CS is a company that's just synonymous now with shooting and the electronic targeting system that we all rely on these days to get the results in as soon as possible. So 30 seconds will be called. And there's just a look at firing point A, which isn't in use for this one, uh, but it's exactly the same um, as all the others. And the bullseye down there, 0.5 of a millimeter. I mean, I play a lot of darts at home, and I think even one of my darts is about 0.5 of a millimeter wide, oh. and I'm only throwing from seven feet nine. It's not until you try this, if you ever get a chance to try it with a rifle and go out there on a range, just try it. It's so much fun and it's so hard. This isn't winning like winning cuddly bears at the fun fair. This is the real thing. So here is Jeanette Justad, now 24 years old. First met Jeanette when she was only 19. That was back in Fort Benning in the USA at the World Cup. Um, I've got to know her over the years as well. And it was wonderful to see her competing at the Tokyo Olympics. And I'm sure she'll get there in terms of the finals for Paris next year. So 21.3 from Israel, 20.6 from the Norwegians. So this time it's not Norway that go in front straight away. Israel are two points to nil, a 10.6 and a 10.7. Two fantastic shots, world class. So the man with the golden gun this time isn't Francisco Scaramanga. It's Sergei Richter and the man with the golden rifle. He just looks too friendly, doesn't he, to be a Bond villain, Sergei? He's too nice a guy. Just stick to professional shooting, I would, Sergei. With you. We don't need to ruin your reputation in a James Bond film, you're fine. So two 10.3s. Ten point eight, great shot. Twenty one point one. A very impressive total. So it's another two points for Israel. Four points to nil. Ten point nine is the highest individual score you can achieve. Twenty one point eight is the highest combined total. So Israel just point seven away from the maximum. So Heg and Jusad have some work to do here. So Yoon already turning into his shot. And Jeanette now just turning into hers. Ten point five versus a ten point six, so it's close. Only point one difference so far. Oh, and that 
just that weight like last time. The first two shots almost go together and then there's that, that weight that we've got in between the other two shots. So a timeout's been called already by Espen Berg Knutsen. And it's 6-0 to Israel. So the Norwegians have a maximum time allocation of 60 seconds here to have their timeouts. You can just see some of the scores. They've been firmly beaten so far in every series. So I think now they're just sitting out the time, just playing to the clock. Time. And Chief Range Officer's called time. So we'll now have to get underway again. Can Israel increase their lead? Will they go eight points in front? So load is the command. That'll be another 50 seconds. And again, I think we're going to have that painful wait. The first two shots will come in. Heg and Tashiev will more than likely go first. That seems to have been the pattern so far. And then Richter and Justed following up. So Tashiev has fired 10.3. And a 10.0. And now that weight in the middle. Oh, it's a little bit shorter this time. Oh, a 9.7 from Richter and a 10.2 from Justad. It means that Norway do now have some points on the board. So 20.2 against a total of 20.0. It's a 0.2 difference, and it's enough to get two points. I think Richter is just rubbing his chin, isn't he? He's not saying no to anything. So 10.6 from Tashiev. 10.4 from Heg. It's a 0.2 gap, still very, very close. And a 20.8 total and agonizing for the Norwegian team. They're just shy, 0.1 behind in terms of the totals. 20.8 against 20.7. So it's another victory for Israel. Another two points, another series one. Eight points to two. So Norway really do need to get back into this gold medal match because this could easily slip away and it could go bobbing down the river. Ten point two from Tashiev. Heg will probably shoot next. And does so. Ten point three. And now Richter will probably fire with then just that at the end. No, she's gone first this time. Ten point eight. That's a terrific total from Norway. Twenty one point one. And it's enough to win that series. Norway are fighting back. There's four points that separate these two teams. Israel are halfway there to the gold medal. 16 points is the target they're trying to get to. It's an absolute joy to see just four athletes like this and the four names that we've got in front of us. Some real caliber. And that's not just the rifles, that's in terms of their abilities, in terms of the world of shooting.
So Tashiev will probably fire first, does so. 10.2, 10.7 from Heg of Norway. So the Norwegians are in front so far. 10.6, that's a 20.8 total. And a 10.8 from Gistad has done it. 21.5, just 0.2, or 0.3, sorry, just short of the maximum total of 21.8. A 10.8 and a 10.7. The Norwegians mean business, eight points to six. We could be in for a very, very close gold medal match here. The last one was a bronze medal match, it wasn't so. Norway took that 16 points to two. And now back here with Sergei Victor, the 33 year old. That's Vladimir Pivna. So Norway have already called a timeout. Israel still had the option to do so. 10.7 and a 10.5 are the opening shots in this series. 21.1 total, it's, that's high. And it's high enough to win the series. 20.8 from Norway with a 10.3 and a 10.5. So Israel are now again four points in front and have their sights set not only on the target, but also on the gold medal. as well to get brought along. It's, it just adds to the sound here of the clapping and the tapping on chairs. So Tashiev hasn't shot yet. That's a surprise. And there's six seconds left. Just at the end, 20.8 versus 20.9, with just one second left on the clock. And Norway, once again, have won another series, and they've done it by 0.1, but it doesn't matter. That is a gap, it is a difference, and therefore, another two points for Norway. They're now up to eight points. I don't know what happened with Tashiev there. She normally just goes pretty quickly once the start command is given, but shot there with just a few seconds remaining. Israel 10, Norway 8. Three, ten point three, so we're both level. Ten point one, twenty point four total, and twenty one point zero. Norway are now level. They were behind for some time in this series, and Tashiev and Sergei Richter now find themselves level as they were when it first started. It was 0-0 when it started, and this is the first time both the scores have now been exactly the same. So can Norway go in front for the first time, or will Israel continue to edge in front again? Israel 10, Norway 10. So Sergei Richter, do you want to settle for silver? No, he says. I would prefer gold. 10.3 and a 10.4. So close, 0.1 of a difference. 
and 20.9, 21.0. The final total ends up with a 0.1 difference. And for the first time, Norway have gone into the lead in this gold medal match. Heg and Dustad want the gold. They are not going to give up. A silver, as far as they're concerned, is perhaps just not good enough. Let's see if Israel can come back. So every shot in the 10 ring there, apart from shot three. That's world class. Sheer world class, that, that performance so far. Israel still have the option of a timeout, whether or not they'll go for that. 10.2 is what Tashir opens up with. Oh, heck with a 10.9. Will this be another series win for Norway? 10.5 from Richter, 20.7 is the total. What can you stand here? here? And a 10.6. 21.5, just 0.3 short of the maximum. So Norway are now four points in front, and I did mention it a second ago. I wondered if it, Israel would call a timeout, particularly if they lost that series, and they have. So now Vladimir Pivna makes his way over to say, right, we were absolutely walking this. The gold medal was looking like it was coming our way. Let's get back into the zone, shall we? And I think they're also going to use the maximum allocated time. This will just disrupt some of the rhythm and some of the pacing that the Norwegians have clearly slipped into, and it's been working for them. Silence around the finals hall. Absolute silence. Could somebody drop a pin, please? <laughs> so Chief Range Officer calls time. And I don't think I've ever heard a finals hall so quiet at this stage so far into this gold medal match. Can Israel get another series win? Can they get themselves back into the hunt for the gold medal? If you are just joining us, this is very exciting. 10-metre air rifle mixed team gold medal match between Norway and Israel. Settle down and buckle up because this could be some finish. 10.9 from Heg of Norway. What a shot. 10.1 meanwhile from Israel. And a 20.4 total, is it enough? No, it's not, with a 10.5 from Gistad. Yeah, and she says, yes, 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 we've done it. And Norway came from behind. Uh, despite the timeout just called by Israel, it wasn't enough to spur them on to another series win. And yes, high fives all around, and even hugs as well, why not? Uh, is Jog, uh, maybe, no, are they? Mm, yeah. No, it's, it's going to be the athletes first. So uh, Espen Berg, Knutson not going in for a hug just yet, uh, but no doubt will. So here comes uh, Jenny Stainer, the bronze medalists. And I think Henrik Larsson has also gone on to congratulate uh, the two gold medalists as well. Meanwhile, the Norwegians congratulate the silver medalists, which is Olga Tashiev and Sergei Richter, who are the silver medalists in this competition. So we'll just wait for the official announcements to come. Uh, what a finish to that final, eh? I really did think for a moment there that his Israel team were really going to just walk off with the gold medal, but it just goes to show you that in shooting, well, it just literally isn't over, over until the final shot. And what a, what a final shot to finish on as well, 10.5. I mean, if there's one way of saying, do you fancy a goal, it's just by going bang. There we go, 10.5, and the gold medal is secured.
So the Italians just getting their mention for the bronze medal. That's Sofia Ceccarello and Danilo Salazzo. So Jenny Steiner and Henrik Larsson, the other bronze medalist from Norway. The silver medalist, Team Israel, Olga Tashiev and Sergei Richter. So Olga Tashiev and Sergei Richter are the silver medalists. And the gold medalist, Team Norway 1, Jeanette Hegdustad and Jun Hermann Hegg. So Jeanette Hegdustad and Jun Hermann Hegg. Oh, the gold medalist for Norway. I think Richter definitely wanted the gold. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? If you're coming into a gold medal match, that's what you've turned up for. But the look on his face a second ago just said, Poor, I thought I was the man with the golden rifle and I thought another gold medal might be mine, but it just wasn't to be. So that brings the coverage to a conclusion for now. We've just witnessed the gold medal match in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team. Uh, day four of the European Championships continues though. Later, we will be back around just before 6 p.m. local time here in Tallinn in Estonia. And that's for the 10 meter air pistol women. Some very familiar names. Anna Korokaki is in there. Zorana Runovic is also competing in that particular final later. Two of those names that just need no introduction. But you know what, come later, we'll have to do it because that's just the formality of things. So from myself, Rory McAllister and the team here, uh, we'll see you later today for the continuation of day four of the European Championships here in Tallinn in Estonia.
back to the capital city of Estonia. This is the medal ceremony for the 10 metre air rifle mixed team. And the flower girls are ready, as are the procession team. We'll get underway in just a second. We've got two bronze medals to distribute, one silver, one gold. Ladies and gentlemen, the awarding ceremony for the 10 meter air rifle mixed team event of the European Shooting Championships 10 meter Tallinn 2023 is starting now. So the medals will be presented by Yair Davidovic, who is the Vice President of the European Shooting Confederation. The flowers will be handed out the by Cal Polkis, board member the of the Estonian Shooting Sport. Will be presented by Yair Davidovic, the Vice President of the European Shooting Confederation. So there is Mr. Yair Davidovic. Flowers will be presented by Cal Polkis, the board member of the European Shooting Estonian Shooting Sport Federation. So there's Cal Polkis, so the bronze medalist, who is part of the Estonian Shooting Sport Federation. Sofia Cekarello and Danilo Denis Solato. So here come the Italians then for their bronze medal. And just as one of the more, most formidable presences in the whole of Italy enters the room. That is Luciano Rossi, who is the president of the ISSF. And Danilo Salazzo and Sofia Ceccarello receive their bronze medal. They also get the prize money certificate and their flowers too. Also the bronze medalists, representing team number two, Jenny Stenner and Henry Larsen. So team Norway for the bronze medal. That's the other one, Henrik Larsen and Jenny Stenner. These two medals to add to their ever increasing medal cabinet. And they're so great to be around, the Norwegian team. I first met some of these guys back in the World Cup in Fort Benning in 2018. And we've all had some good times over the years. So Israel, Sergei Richter. And alongside... Olga Tashiev. And they did ever so well, actually, in the gold medal match. Richter and Tashiev, and they were, really were cruising at one point. And then Nor the Norwegians literally just kept fighting back and back and back. And, and eventually managed to pit them. Representing team Norway won, Jeanette Hergustad and Jun Hermann Hegg. So Jeanette Hergustad and Jun Hermann Hegg are the gold medalists and the European champions. So yesterday in the juniors, it was two silver medals for Norway. And now the team versions have been upgraded to a gold. So in just a second, we will stand for the national anthem of Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Norway.
So that's the formalities over, and the national anthem of Norway just rings around the finals hall here in Tallinn, in Estonia. And now it's time for the photographs, all the social media pages, the newspapers, websites, and just personal phones as well. Someone always ends up with a photo of athletes not looking at their camera. It just happens in today's age where there's just so many pictures being taken. Someone, though, will get one picture at least with them all looking the right way. And that's probably Risto in the middle there, who's the media manager of the competition. And they all look great together, don't they? There's the smiling face of Jeanette Dustad with another gold medal. And was Sergei Victor and Olga Tashiev, silver medalists, just leaning out to one side, holding their medals just so it can all be seen. And nice to see Henrik Larsson and Jenny Stainer joining their teammates on the top of the podium for the gold medal position. Meanwhile, that's the Italians over to the side. That's Danilo Salazzo and Sofia Ceccarello. So we'll just leave you now with some pictures of the medalists on the podium here at the European Championships in Tallinn. I've just seen Zorana Runovic. She's just come in with her sister, Yelena, into the preparation area. They're going to get ready for the 10-meter air pistol women uh, that is uh, just coming up. And Zorana's just given me a big wave, so off down to see them and to see how they're all doing. Uh, Anna Kolakaki is in this final as well later. That's at 6 o'clock local time. So we'll be on air from 5.45 local time here in Estonia. So just make the adjustments as to what time that is where you are. So from myself, Rory McAllister, and the rest of the team for now, we will see you later as day four continues. Our next final is the 10-meter air pistol women here at the European Championships in Tallinn.